Picture this. You're running a marathon and you finally cross the finish line with a sense of triumph and relief. But instead of basking in the glory of your accomplishment, you're suddenly hit with a wave of exhaustion that just won't go away. Days slowly turn into weeks, weeks into months, and that initial burst of energy feels like a distant memory as you struggle to get through each day. This scenario isn't just hypothetical. It's the reality for millions of people dealing with long COVID. Today, we'll be delving into the world of long COVID, what it is, why it matters, and how we can tackle it together. You may be wondering, what is long COVID? We just faced a global pandemic, so how is this any different than COVID-19? Long COVID occurs after infection with COVID-19, where individuals experience long-lasting symptoms ranging from weeks to months after infection. There are many symptoms that can be used to recognize long COVID. Some initial symptoms include fatigue, muscular pain, anxiety, and chest pain. Many patients also report cognitive impairment among their symptoms. Unfortunately, there are also some long-lasting health problems associated with the long-term nature of long COVID. For example, respiratory dysfunction, such as negative changes to the lung tissue. Additionally, cardiovascular complications may arise, such as chest pain and palpitation. Finally, there are also impacts to the central nervous system and gastrointestinal system. As with many diseases, there are certain factors that must be present for you to be at risk for this disease. Primarily, long COVID only arises in those who are infected with COVID-19. There are some risk factors for developing long COVID, such as severity of COVID symptoms, pre-existing conditions such as type 2 diabetes, being older, and being a female under 50 compared to men. However, this does not mean that someone cannot become a long COVID patient if they do not fit any of these labels. We know that this can become worrisome. That is why we're here to break down some of the complex concepts for you. So, why should we care? Well, long COVID can have a big impact on a person's life. Imagine dealing with constant fatigue and brain fog, making it really hard to get back to normal life. It's not just about feeling a bit off. It can really affect your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. But here's the good news. Scientists are working hard to learn more about long COVID, find how it affects the body, and find better ways to treat it. This research isn't just important for now. It could also help with future illnesses caused by viruses. Plus, it's important for everyone to know about it so we can support friends and family who might be going through it. Together, we can learn more about long COVID and help each other feel better. Next up, we want to cover what research unfolds with long COVID. Starting off with the breaking question that researchers are still trying to figure out, what causes long COVID? Research indicates that long COVID has connections to biomarkers, but what is a biomarker? A biomarker is a form of indicator that can assess characteristics within the human body system. Going back to our scenario of a marathon, people who run marathons tend to wear athletic watches such as a Fitbit. These fitness devices track their daily steps, calorie intake, and distance traveled. We can compare biomarkers to Fitbits. Essentially, biomarkers can indicate the levels of a measure within the body and are an excellent way to monitor for disease, for example, measuring cholesterol or blood pressure levels. Using these biomarkers, it was noticed that individuals with long COVID had remaining COVID virus segments left within their guts, despite their negative test results. These remaining fragments can cause the release of something called interferons. Interferons are signaling proteins which essentially act as a defensive response to any form of viral infections. With the release of these interferons, this can reduce serotonin levels within the body, which can result in fatigue and brain fog. This in turn leads to inflammation, causing serotonin levels to dry. This causes a disruption in the nervous system. In addition, a decrease in serotonin levels is directly connected to higher depression levels. Now, let's closely examine a research study that looked into long COVID. It involved 46 participants who were diagnosed with COVID-19 months prior, and it was noticed that 21 of these individuals had symptoms of long COVID. It was analyzed that individuals with long COVID symptoms had viral RNA that was harbored in their body systems and consisted of viral fragments. Although 11 of these individuals without symptoms had slight lingering virus pieces, 14 people did not. Therefore, researchers believe that lingering virus pieces are not the only reason for what is causing long COVID. Although the reason is still unclear, as for future research of long COVID, scientists want to uncover research that focuses on how these virus fragments 
interact with other organs, and how it connects with how the gut behaves. As we continue digging into the long-term effects of COVID-19, there is an interesting study from Italy that's worth mentioning. The study offers a deeper glimpse into the potential challenges faced after recovering from COVID-19, suggesting that the effects might be more far-reaching than previously believed, affecting the heart, immune system, and brain. To test this, the study gathered information from 507 people who had recovered from COVID-19. They participated in an online survey designed to understand the ongoing symptoms that they were experiencing. Two tools were used in the study, the Insomnia Severity Index and the Uricol 5D. The Insomnia Severity Index looks at problems with sleeping, including how hard it is to fall asleep, stay asleep, satisfaction with sleep, and how sleep issues affect daily life and mood. The Uricol 5D is about measuring overall quality of life, looking at things like how easy it is to move around, take care of oneself, do everyday activities, and feeling of pain and anxiety. The goal was pretty straightforward, to get a real sense of the ongoing health challenges faced by those who thought they'd left COVID-19 behind. And the findings were definitely an eye-opener. Among participants experiencing long COVID-19 syndrome, 53% reported feeling tired, also known as fatigue, 43% experienced difficulty breathing, also known as dyspnea, 27% had joint pain, and 22% suffered from chest pain. Sleep troubles were common too, and they weren't just tossing and turning at night. This lack of sleep was linked to more pain and discomfort, as well as feeling more anxious and depressed compared to those who have never had the virus. In fact, Recovered individuals stated that their quality of life was about 20% lower than those who never caught the virus. Essentially, this study highlights the need to continue COVID-19 research, particularly on its long-term effects, to better help support those still struggling with its aftermath. Now, let's dive into how we can prevent the lingering symptoms. First up, if you haven't already, consider getting vaccinated. Vaccines play a big role in preventing COVID-19 and reducing the risk of long COVID. They're safe, effective, and a great way to protect yourself and your community. Next, stick to the basics. This looks like washing your hands often with soap, wearing a mask in crowded places, and keeping your distance from others, especially anyone who's feeling under the weather. Lastly, if you start feeling sick or developing any symptoms of COVID-19, make sure to reach out to a health professional right away. Early detection and treatment can make a big difference in preventing long COVID. By taking these preventative measures, people can reduce their risk of contracting COVID-19 and in turn, developing long COVID. So let's stay informed, stay safe, and take care of each other.